Oh, my dear lecturer and friends, I'm glad to welcome all of you to my presentation on Intel Test Essential Course 2016. My name is Bao Nguyen Thinh Phuc and my lecturer is Le Nguyen Như An. Today, I'm gonna present to you about three main aspects of my unit of my portfolio. The first one is the unit portfolio. Then, I'm gonna talk about my unit plan and finally, I'll conclude my presentation with the assessment plan. Before I move to my first part, I would like to introduce my course book and my unit that I'll be cover. My course book is Oxford Solutions Second Edition Upper Intermediate, and I'll be in track of Unit Five Technology. Now let's move to my very first part, Unit Portfolios. Basically. A unit portfolio consists of five folders. In the assessment, I have eight different methods of evaluating my students, including brainstorming checklist, collaboration shelf assessment, group presentation checklist assessment, group presentation scoring guide, KWL chart, peer assessment, self assessment and reflection. Think pair share assessment and the last one informal questioning. In my student sample, I have also included a model paragraph on the inconvenience caused by technology, a sample of reporting survey findings, as well as a survey sample. In the student support folders, I provide my students with the instruction on how to conduct a survey the workbook, a storyboard to have them write their own story, and a survey guide. In the teaching support folder, I also include a presentation going student need, which is used at the very first period. A PowerPoint slide, presenting step how to write a good story, a basic voice presentation, a sample of funny story about technology to help teacher lead in the writing period, and a teacher's book of Oxford Solution Second Edition Upper Intermediate. In the last folder, I have a unit plan, a very detailed procedure teaching this unit. That's all about my portfolios. Now, let's turn to my detailed unit plan. The unit will be about technology. Let's start with my summary of the unit. The unit included for the following parts, listening, speaking, reading, writing, vocabulary, grammar, and culture. Through the main parts, students can improve their grammar in terms of passive voice. In addition, they can learn many lexical items related to technology with a wide range of activity in the unit. Students can not only enhance their English competence, but also gain more knowledge and experience about technology. At the end of the unit, students will have a chance to reflect what they have learned through a survey and a presentation reporting the survey's findings. The subject areas will be English, and my student will be at grade 12. To cover the unit, I'll need 5 weeks with totally 20 periods, 45 minutes per period. In terms of the targeted content standard and pen march, I will use the CEFR level B2 for my student. With some, 20, with some 21st century skills, such as critical thinking, interpersonal and collaboration skill, communication skill, and presentation skill. After learning on the content of the unit, I hope my student will be able to outline and write a story, do the multiple matching tasks in reading, Use passive voice correctly. 
realize the inconveniences of technology in daily life and how to live happier in the era of technology, conduct a survey and make a presentation, apply the realm of points in speaking and writing, self-evaluate and build feedback, answer the essential question making by making a presentation reporting the survey results. In the first period, I will introduce to my students some questions from the curriculum framing questions, such as the unit questions, is technology always good? The content questions, what are some techno technological tools used in our daily life? What are some drawbacks of technology? How technology has changed our life? What can we do to prevent some unexpected accidents when using technological devices? And covering all of them, it is essential questions. How to live happily in the era of technology? Those questions will help my students to have a general view of the unit and arouse their interest. In the next five weeks, my students will have a lot of activity from vocabulary, grammars, reading, speaking to listening, culture and writing, especially to conduct a survey and report the finding survey results by making a presentation in the last four periods. This also brings me to the last part of my video about the assessment plan. It's a brief plan to evaluate my student thoroughly during my unit. Teachers will use discussion and KWL chart throughout the unit to assess student background knowledge, understanding of the topic, critical thinking and their endless skill. From then, teachers can help them to achieve their goals. Presentation will enhance their speaking skill and use of English, which are very very important. Different assessment strategies I use during my unit to help students follow the lesson. Students will be assessed and receive feedback not only by teacher but also by their friends to help them have various opinions in their work. Rubrics and scoring guides guide them to self-assess the progress. Collaboration self-assessment will be collected at the end so that the teacher can assess students more objectively. In the final, written test is given to see whether students student can apply what they have learned from the unit. Also, teacher will give feedback through questioning and discussion. As you can see, this assessment timeline will help me to use which assessment will be employed at different stage of the unit. This also bring me to the end of my presentation for the Intel Teach Essential Course 2016. Again, my name is Bo Nguyen Thinh Phuc and my lecturer is Lê Nguyễn Như Anh. Thank you for your kind attention. Goodbye.